What is going on guys? Today I am bringing you a favorite. We're going to do a comparison between the HK Armory Zero G Harness 2.0 versus the Bunker Kings Fly Pack. All right, let's let's uh, let's jump into it. Mark, tell me the price points on the Fly Pack versus the Zero G 2.0. They are both $89.95 currently at LoneWolfPaintball.com. Get yours today. Multiple colors are available. Sounds good. Longer than I expected, but fair enough. So let's just go one for one, tit for tat here. First off, I got an HK Army pod and I have a Virtue 165 rounder pod. We're gonna see vice versa, what goes in better without touching anything. These are obviously both brand new packs. Well, how and, many paintballs go in the HK pod? Uh, I think like 140, and they made these a little bit bigger for 165. So anywho, let's get into the pod packs. Outside, first thing that I notice, hmm, HK has nice, like grippy type extra loop straps here. Seem pretty durable. I like that, looking good. Over here are the fly pack. Also, very, very durable straps. Nice little design on the outside. They didn't go as much in depth as HK to me, but I mean, like I said, we're kind of going tit for tat. They still do have their fly design on the outside of the pack. Like I said, HK's got, you know, both of them durability wise, throwing the graphics aside, durability, they're both, um, they're not that cheap like neoprene stuff. So they're, they're gonna hold strong for quite a while, I would be assuming. Next thing I'm gonna notice, so this is a hard one. HK does have padding, you can see in here, Mark, there's padding and there's flexible rubber decals or whatever you wanna call them on the outside of the pack. Bunker Kings over here, not as flexible. Still, they got some rubber on their pack. I know they got this TriFlex technology going on with each, uh, uh, what do you want to call that? Outside holder, whatever, for the pod. But it's not as flexible as the HK Army one, I can tell you that right now. Up near the top, which is a big thing, HK Army does have their pod pack enclosed with like elastic ejectable straps up top. And the Bunker Kings fly pack does not it's wide open it still does have a nice stretchy uh you know elasticity to it but it's completely open up on top and does not have the enclosure like the hk army pack does i don't know what that means i need to see it with pods in it you want to see with pods in there so i'm gonna first i'm gonna put one of each pod into the hk army pack which i'll get onto the inside here in just a couple minutes and we'll talk about the tension control system on that versus this pack. So HK Army pod going in. Once again, these are brand new from the factory. I'm trying to get that boy. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna need to do tension control on this one because we're not really, we're not really getting a smooth put in there. That's why it does have control. And this one's not gonna go any better, Mark. I have a. Yeah, that one's just not going to go in there at all. So we're going to have to use the tension control system to fit the exact pod you guys use. So now, should I put them in here? Well, let's do the let's do the insides then, and then we'll show them with pods in them at the end, so you can adjust it so while it's open. So do pods on this one next? Last? last. We'll do pods in them last. Okay. So HK Army, the inside of the HK Army pack. Ooh, who's, whose belt is thicker before you open it all the way up? Well, now I'm going to go here. Whose belt's thicker? It's going to be the fly pack. Okay. has a thicker belt system. You can see how skinny it is compared to over here. Let's get on in here. I like that um, they do have the tension control system. So this, first off, they've got padding in the center and they have padding all along the sides as well. Nice skinny strap on each side to kind of cover the entire part of your back. So that will pull off. What I've been saying about the tension control system is you guys can go through the back of the pack. You guys can adjust these straps here where it says tension control and you can actually adjust to the size of the pods you guys are using by you know, doing the Velcro, making it bigger or smaller or whatever you'd like. So let's, I'm gonna use this one and make it a little bit bigger, I think. That should maybe work. So tension control, you can adjust each exact pod uh, slot to what you're using. Obviously you're gonna adjust them all the same because I hope you're not using 
two of these, one of those, and one other random one or something. So most of your pods are going to be the same. And Mark, this tablecloth, just not having it, man. Just not having it. Well, tell Joe I want a custom epoxy lone wolf table. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So let's see if it goes, this pod will go in here a little bit better now. So now that I actually made it bigger, it goes in there a lot smoother than the other one. So that goes to show you that their tension control system obviously does work. Flip the pod over on the back or the pack over on the back, and then you can use the tension control Velcro to adjust to the size of the pod that you guys want. That's not all the way in. No, I mean, yeah, I want what do you want? You want me to mess this whole tablecloth up? Well, no, I wanted to see it like against the top part. That's what I wanted to see the difference of, like how that, that holds the top of the pod. Okay. Very nice. Whereas when you do the Bunker Kings, it's not going to have anything holding the top of the pod. No, it's not. Why? Do you want it to be cradled? You like it? I like, don't know. Nice I'm, 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 okay. I'm on the fence for both. But. Okay, so we'll show you. Let me just talk a little bit more about this. Tension control, I already showed you. The pillow has a nice pillow in the back. Fairly comfortable. I do like that the HK did include kind of like the side uh, pillow padding as well for going around your waist. So I like that. The belt is skinnier on this. So, all right, let's set that off to the side. That was the Zero G 2.0. Bunker Kings fly pack. Let's crack this bad boy open. Thicker straps. Uh, Velcro on both of them are extremely durable, especially being brand new. So inside of the Bunker Kings fly pack, they have a very, very nice uh, three quarter inch thick pillow on the back. Super, super comfortable. I would say this is definitely softer than the inside of the Zero G 2.0, but unlike the 2.0, it does not have the extra padding on the outside like the 2.0 did. So, so was that kind of ribbing an illusion? I mean, is there any padding there at all? What, in the back here, there's a little bit, not much, but it doesn't have equal padding like the, you know, the 2.0 did. Let me pull this. Hey, put them side by side. You got in the comparison, so let's compare them. So obviously, as you guys can see here on the 2.0, you've got your pillow pad and then extensions. Over here on the fly pack, you've got your, it's gonna be thicker, and it's gonna be softer than the 2.0, but like I said, it doesn't have the matching, um, you know, it's just, it's just those like ribbed out shapes. It's hard to tell on camera if those are actually puffy uh, or not. Gotcha, gotcha. This, the, in here, throughout this way, yeah. and there's a little bit, it's not much. Something, it's always better than nothing. Next thing I'm gonna talk about on the inside, two more, well, two more things. This does have a 300 degree uh, sticky print on here. So it's gonna go all the way around your jersey, so it's not gonna be sliding up or down. If you guys notice on the Zero G pack, it does not have that. So pros and cons, Mark, right now, just talking about the inside functionality of the pack, which one would you go with? What do you think? Uh, they have pros and cons, what do you? Yeah, I mean, I'm hard, leaning towards the Bunker Kings just a little bit, but okay. that's because I'm, traditionally used to having some kind of a grip across my front ways because this grip we the we kill suckers grip is definitely going to help from that you're, um, you're you're dirty you're sweaty you're sticky uh you want to have something that's not going to be sliding up and down on you but, but obviously the extra you, padding on the zero g in the back nice. might i mean i'd have to actually wear them and play in both Correct. of them for a while yeah. well that's why i try to do comparisons for you guys out there that are watching you want to know like what is the best what are the features so i try to go in depth as much as i can um, speaking of the inside of the pack, I told you I had two things. I like the grippies. What I do like about this one is no, Mark, we're getting into the pods. So zero G, you have all your tension control systems throughout the back of the pack. On the Bunker Kings Fly, you don't have, you have none of that. You don't have any of that. Reason for that is it's got this TriFlex technology on the outside that claims it will hold any and all pods without falling out. The beginning of the video, you saw me trying to get these two pods into the Zero G pack without a struggle, and it was definitely a struggle. So uh, let's slide these in here. Obviously, these are both brand new right off the shelf. Sliding this in. And we did a previous overview of this Bunker Kings fly pack where we did four different types of pods, just so you can see. So what Mark wanted to see in the Zero G, he wanted to see the top part. I slid this one in with ease. I didn't have to go flip my pod pack over and do the tension control, which is a nice feature, but if you don't want to have to waste extra time, 
slide it any pod. They say it holds all pods. Slide it in. I didn't have to do any extra work. I didn't have to fight or struggle. I didn't have to flip it over and mess with the tension control. And Mark, I think we're gonna have to give a, a nickel away for every time I say tension control in this video. So uh, the fly pack, they're both great. I don't, I think, uh, I think I don't know. they're both gonna work awesome for oh, sure. Oh yeah, for sure. I think the time is gonna tell on will those pod holders on the Bunker Kings actually hold for five, 10 years. Right, right. You know, and but for if you're sure. using the same pack for 10 years, it might be time to upgrade anyway. And that's a good point you just brought up because I do like, let's say after, after a certain amount of time, you're, these strapless holders on both of these packs, since they're both strapless, they do start to wear out. I can always flip over my Zero G 2.0 and make that Velcro a little bit tighter, kind of it's like an, almost like a new pod pack again. You th right? I mean, you could always get in here and Velcro it further over to make it tighter. With this, once their Triflex wears out, it's worn out, you're probably gonna get a new pack. I'm sure both of these are gonna last you for a long time. The current pack that I have, not saying which one, I've used it for many, many seasons and I still have it and everything still works on it. It's starting to fall apart, but it's got a lot of use. Um, so I hope you guys liked the video. I hope this little comparison, if you guys were thinking about getting a new harness, Zero G 2.0 or the Bunker Kings Fly. They're both excellent. They both have um, pros and not many cons, but they both have some pros. Compare them, put them in the comments below. Which one you guys would rather have? Do you guys own one or the other or both right now? Or which one you like better? All right, I hold a gun to your head right now. You can only buy one of these two. Which one are you buying? Me? Yes, you. Why? Right now, I need to know. Uh, right now, you gotta pick, you gotta pick. Tournament uh, starting. It's, oh shit. Fly, uh, I think so. I just like it because I don't have to mess with the tension control. That's it, I, oh gosh, it's a hard decision. I hate when you do that to me. All right, well, lonewolfpaintball.com, we have both of these great pod packs available. That was a hard decision. All right, Mark, do you got a question or no? Yes, I have a question. I figured and you just would. Because nobody actually cares, but I'd buy the HK one because I want to trust that I can keep adjusting my pod pack because I'm cheap and I'm not going to replace my pod pack every See, five years. I'm uh, going to run it till it falls apart and I'm 90. Um, from the YouTube, Maddie wants to know, should I get a CS2 or a Lux X? Oh, under pressure again. Somebody's holding the gun what to your head. The tournament's this? about to start. A CS2 or Lux X? Yeah, he didn't say pro or not. I mean, if it was ah. an old CS2 versus Lux X, I'd probably go Lux X for sure. CS2 Pro though, now you've got a whole different question. If it's a if it's a CS2 Pro, I'm probably gonna go with the CS2. <sighs> I do like how the Lux X frame comes off completely with no tools. That's a hard question, man. They're both fantastic guns. I why you do this, man? Because that's, that's the question that right, people want to know. Head? Use a gun to your head. Which one did you choose? Probably Lux X, because I like the fact that it comes with the Freak XL. Okay. options Fair right enough. up to get all right but the cs2 bores are good too uh that, yeah all right guys global paintball.com thanks for watching thanks for watching us bicker and i hope you like the kind of review and comparison of both of these packs side by side take it easy guys we're out of here see you